right, we are working on a 2000 uh, Toyota 4Runner. Uh, we're going to be doing the spark plugs, oil change, and a uh, fuel filter replacement. Um, for the oil change, I'm not going to show, but for the fuel filter, I will show how to do that one and so forth. Um, first things first, this tab would have been in here. Um, you'd get a pick or a flathead screwdriver. Pull this guy back if it wasn't ripped um, and pull that guy out. Then on this tab, you need to squeeze your, your clip. Oh, this guy's broken, but that defeated the purpose. So you would have um, one clip right here. You just pull with your pick and then pull on one side. And then once it gets right up, push down right there. And that would be up too as well. Uh, we'll just put that back. Then we'll pull off this um, PCV hose. Then we'll move this hose out to the way. Then we're gonna get our 10 millimeter. Then pull this hose back too as well. We have access to our ignition coil. Then we'll pull these clips back. And just in case if there's any debris, I'm gonna go ahead and spray out these uh, cylinders. Just watch your eyes. And then these guys are very tired. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Instead of being a round shape, these are more like an oval football shape. Let's see that. Let's see how flat they are on the sides. So these guys are pretty tired. So good thing we're doing the replacement on these. Now here's our new plugs, if I can get that to focus. There we go. See how round they are. I'll just drop these guys right down in there. Thread them in by hand first and then tighten them down. Customer was nice enough to uh, bring me some new coils. Didn't know that until right now. So, plug it back in. All right. So now we got our our cables, our new cables. Um, these are nicely ordered, so don't really have to worry. But pretty much it's one, three, and five. And basically, um, five goes with um, with number two cylinder for the cable. Number three goes with six. And number one goes with the two. So those are the corresponding uh, cylinders. So whatever wire, obviously, is going to be right here. So this will be number five, as, as we would say. And then our corresponding one with the um, with the the plug side would be one because it would be five one three six and then one and four. So just keep that in mind. So this one's going to correspond with uh, with four. This one's going to cor this one's going to correspond with two. This one's going to correspond with six, and then this one's going to correspond with four. So keep those in mind.
I'm just gonna the bracket right here. It's a ground wire. We're gonna take that off so we can get to that ignition coil. Or I meant the spark plug wire. There's a little plastic tab, you'd pull that back just in case it's in the way, which it is. Then we'll take off this bracket, there's a 10 on that too as well. Again, our third wire is going to go to number six. So we're going to put that under the fuel line that's right here. So we'll put it under there and then we'll sneak it right under between this bracket and there. So we'll start off just like that. All right, so we are done with the spark plug replacement and wires too as well, along with the ignition coils. So that's very simple, very straightforward, nothing too major. If this video helped you out, comment below, give it a thumbs up, and then hit that subscription button for more notifications for more upcoming videos in the future. Thanks for watching.